Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. It's good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him. Resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by THE Juhani Otzoberg himself. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Otso heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Abstergo goon on the planet after us. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. All right then, here we go. This place is huge! Echo! These look like thrones of royalty. But who are the kings and queens? Hello, Leila. Heir of memories. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. It seems as though we're not alone. Victoria! What are you doing down here? Layla, it was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? This is Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Are you sure we can trust her? We have no choice but to trust her. She's the key to finding out more about the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Alexios. You weren't in the plans, can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. This journey is yours and Alexios's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. As Alexios finds power to fuel both him and the staff, you too will feel that physical connection. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Alexios. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you his way through the simulations. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the Great Seal will open for us. If you say so. 
Welcome, Keeper. You've entered the great throne room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutek I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. This place... Did Pythagoras know it existed? No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. You told me this room was meant for the heir of memories. But I got in so easily. You paid for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mater always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. There's more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. The... what? I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alethea. You pledged yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Going back now. I have to trust her. You don't belong here. Come <laughs> on. 
No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Tell me your name, or you're next. Ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation, that means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Alexios. What is this place? Keeper! A great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium? The resting place of heroes. When I was a boy, I dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then, why would Persephone attack me? Most rulers don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal and uh, the staff talks. It's all very complicated. Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium. But the only way to it is through Persephone, and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows, maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Defkalion's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Maybe I should investigate Defkalion's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Chiara. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them. of Hermes. <laughs> Could this be it? Laka, that was fast!
You know I want out of Elysium. If you help me escape, I promise you'll never see me again. As happy as that would make me, Persephone wants you to stay. How long until you realize you're just one of her pets? Watch yourself, human. Careful, or Persephone will have you neutered. Oh, I forgot. She did that ages ago. I didn't think the dead could feel pain. I'm one of the few miserable fools around here who's actually alive. How can you stand it? The dead really don't want us here. I can't stand it. I'm doing everything I can to escape Elysium, but Persephone's little spies are everywhere. Hades taught her well. So you're the troublemaker I've been hearing so much about. Adam is at your service. With an army at Persephone's disposal and most of Elysium under her control, my troublemaking days are coming to an end. What if I helped you? And why would someone with their whole life ahead of them want to do that? I need to find Hades' realm. If overthrowing Persephone is the key to escaping Elysium, then I'm in. <laughs> why didn't you just say so from the beginning? Did you hear that, my love? He wants to enter Hades' realm. I'm going to find it, with or without your help. We might as well work together. Tell you what. Southwest from here is the fortress of the Three Sisters. One of Persephone's strongholds. If you kill her overseer, destroy her torches of Hypnos, and steal Persephone's resources, all while avoiding the attention of her Colossi, then maybe I'll trust you. Tell me about the overseers. Persephone's most trusted and deadly servants. They are the eyes and ears of Elysium. Killing them will leave the queen blind and deaf. Torches of Hypnos? Constructed by the god of slumber, these devices keep human minds under Persephone's control. Destroy their centers to extinguish their flames. I don't like the sound of Colossi. The Colossi are best left asleep. They protect the Overseers. Bloodshed wakes them, and they do not like being woken. If you're the troublemaker, why do I feel like I'll be causing all the trouble? What can I say? I'm a lover, not a fighter. Luckily for you, I'm both. Come on. I should try to stay out of sight.
Zomi and Queen.
promise me now? You've brought me one step closer to my love. It's a good start. Who is this love you keep mentioning? The most beautiful being in existence. With a face so fair to gaze upon it is to forget all others. Perhaps you've heard of her. Aphrodite. I didn't take you for a poet. She brings it out in me. I'll do whatever I can to get you back to her. You have my word. You've given me something I haven't had in a while. Hope. All right. What's next? Not here. Come find my camp in Yapetos' ruins. Before you go, Persephone has overseers and torches of Hypnos across Elysium. If we're going to weaken her influence, we must destroy them. <sighs> and we're going to need all the help we can get. It's about time I go meet the infamous Persephone. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. Thank you, uh, your majesty. A simple Persephone will do just fine in my realm. Formalities are for the boring. Isn't that what they say? So, Elysium belongs to you. After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest. Usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. I tend to take attacks against me personally. I understand your mistrust, but I want to be friends. This place is paradise, after all. There's no room for enemies. This place is beautiful. I'm Alexios. Then I give you my official welcome, Alexios. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in, but there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No. Someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. The Hades? I'll take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me. 
But what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Aspodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. Looks like a good place for a horse to take shelter. Wonder what's wrong with them.
Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He's just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid, and he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. ...said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us... ...in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care! I would risk even hate this punishment for Orphe. Mark my words, I won't forget this. Whoa, boy! Don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. I need to take this horse to either Adonis or to the stable boy. special horse, and belongs to Hades. That's who he needs to return to. Persephone told me you could get him there. It's because Persephone knows I can ride any horse anywhere. I'll take it from here. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him, and took him to your stable boy like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you saved me. You've earned my favor. and sputtering while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently and given her my love? Always. 
The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... You might be playing both sides with Persephone and Adonis, but I know where your true motives lie. Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. What's in this for you? You still haven't told me. I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time.
Let's see if Ikati's key works. Then find that gerbil. journal is missing pages. Hope Picati still wants it. Better stay hidden. Hunt with me. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us, but stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. I don't like mystery. Let's hear what it says. Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods.
Something's in the way. Something's blocking this.
Something's in the way. Again. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. <laughs> I told you, you can call me Alexios. In front of the staff? Ha! Ah. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. I thought Elysium honored heroes. I even thought this is where I'd want to come one day. But this land isn't great. It's just... haunted. Ah! Persephone has endowed this land with a beauty only she could provide. Let me convince you. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as a that unlock those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them. Ah, Come on. you're as wise as Pythagoras. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Ah. Up, sir. Way up there. Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was blue. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful. As are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace, <laughs> each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Come on. Ella, Ella. Camping is the site where Ephaestus built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Agonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Ah! 
Come on. Cave leads to a key I built for the staff. <laughs> Consider it our secret. The key maker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. The hunt calls, my friend. Come, my fierce friend.
knowledge of the gods should be useful in the underworld. Together, we hunt. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? So this twisting ribbon defines each of us, and what happened in there changed what defines me. You understand? With these keys, you can unlock the secrets inside you, and wrest control from them. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Barnabas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Ella, hold up. You look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. Persephone can look after herself. She's incredible. I agree, but these are strange times. I've heard that some ungrateful delinquents plot against her. These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avani she's a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... everything. How do you know this, Kiros? He was an aide, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kiros. A warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. want to be spotted here.
Hunt with me. Heroes of Zarax? Hermes sent me. So, how do you get that stuff? Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone herself? This is going to be easier than I thought. Wait. What's going to be easier? <laughs> All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing, and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair. Ha! <laughs> you're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons. Each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender? Or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine. But be quick. We need to go to Persephone and their miss. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium. But suffering is a death. And that is something... Come on, come on. Stop. Easy. That's all of them. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. And I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red... I'll think of something. One keeps Persephone waiting. It 
got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed. These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned the key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. No matter who the ruler is, if you give her fire, you're going to get burned. You still don't understand. Persephone wants to protect us from the dark horrors in the underworld. With the flame, she could. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keeper! Alexios, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe. But only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times. You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. An eternal flame sounds more like a myth than some simple recipe. Pa, I began writing the recipe with your father. It's as real as the danger we'd face without it. Why do you go to these lengths to save Persephone? She wouldn't do the same for you. Since these humans started acting against her, she's been suffering. When she suffers, we all suffer. Hermes, has it occurred to you she might just be using you? Of course not. She simply needs someone to rely on. She needs me. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. <whistles> Off we go. <laughs> I should watch my step around here. asked me to go and see her. Ah! <laughs> 
Like the scribbles of a madman. But it's been writ. Where's the rest of it?
the body.
need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? Of course not. But ah, Hermes... Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming, this power could be used to light all Velisium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. There's more for me to do, Hermes. I should go. When we met, it was as friends. If war is coming to Elysium, I want you as my ally. The humans are after us. You, me, Persephone, anyone not like them. I've seen it too. War has come to Elysium. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone. You can't even see you're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited Chaos into this realm, so let's show them Chaos. At least when you asked me to steal, it was from thieves. You're not a murderer, Hermes. You made me look like a fool when I sent you to Kiros. But I can still come back from that, and prove my worth. I told you, we were diverted. It doesn't matter. Please, I'm begging you, my friend. Help me to help her. Fine. I'll kill the captains. I cannot let you do this alone, my friend. Let's fight side by side. I'll need to do this alone, Hermes. But don't worry. You can still take the credit. Let us hunt together. Because of us, because of you, Persephone is safe. Thank you, my friend. No need to thank me. I'm sure you'd have done the same if you had to. Modest and deadly. Impressive. But the war is just beginning. It is. I should tell Persephone what's happened. I know she will join me in this battle. Will you? One way or another. Until then, my friend. You're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. Unless this brings me closer to taking down Persephone, 
I'm not interested. Haven't I made it clear we share that goal? Helping the woman will breach Persephone's power. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis's rebellion. That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. There she is. Elysium is a paradise crafted by Her Majesty, Persephone herself. No human should seek to leave it, for in Elysium, we want for nothing. Who are you? Who sent you? Ekati mentioned you could use some help. Quiet! If the other humans think I associate with Ekati, my career is over. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. There'll be trouble if I'm spotted here. Yeah! Yeah! 
You're released from the grasp of Ipnos. Elysium awaits you! You've been asleep too long. Wake and be free! You're back! Where is my Theron? I freed him of Persephone's influence. He's joined Adonis's rebellion. Wonderful news! I didn't know there was a cure. What of the other villagers? They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? End the fear-mongering against Akati. Make sure the other humans know she is their ally. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. <laughs> the Silver Tongue is on her way to help the rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. <laughs> Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them. And stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis' path. Retrieve it and bring it to her. Why would Persephone outlaw this water? Her need for control has grown beyond understanding. What matters is that the humans of Elysium get the help they desire. What is this woman's sickness? The worst affliction that could befall a human in Elysium. A broken heart for eternity. She's lovesick. You know nothing of grief after death. It haunts humans with an intensity unparalleled on Earth. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens.
I should try to stay out of sight. entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did? Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. I think it matters. Ah, got the water. Now to bring it to Akati's contact. Join me, noble one. This looks like the place.
You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithi's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lithi's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. Now, give me the water. No. After what I've seen, no one should drink this. You fool! Now I'm doomed to live my life without my poor Theron for eternity! That was my last hope! Theron? The Silver Tongue Son? I cleansed him of Persephone's possession. He's in the Apotos' ruins. What? How? I... If what you're saying is true, I must see him right away. Oh, my sweet Theron! close to what I asked you. And what did you ask Alexios to do for you, Persephone? Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. It's hard for a human to understand the consequences of drinking from Lethe's river. You succeeded where I failed. Persephone, I, I was only trying to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves, with or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone, away from your mindless chatter. You've had your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Whatever gets us closer to bringing down Persephone. I'm glad you see reason. So what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. 
Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate, but once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. That's the poison. Now I've got a symposium to attend. Another one. <laughs> Off we go now. A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes. He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his jewel. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. Persephone sent Adonis the most... Praise Persephone, friend. Who spies and kills for Persephone? Is it your group? What? No. Persephone would never want that. I think you're in the wrong place. I should go meet more people. <sighs> when would that ridiculous man realize Persephone is perfect for him? <sighs> an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? Only the best for Persephone. So, east. What? No! There's nothing for her to see in the east. What's she going to stare at? A Cathy's hovel. <laughs> that makes no sense. Did you hear that Persephone refused Hades' communication? I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? They look like good friends to me. You know, I completely agree. Persephone needs someone like Ekate by her side supporting her. Uh, 
I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Hecate made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. To Persephone. To Persephone. He said it would take time to sink in. I'd better get out of here before. No! This symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played? Welcome to the uprising. These ruins were abandoned when Persephone constructed her paradise. We won't be bothered here. But there are so few of you. Most of Persephone's army consists of mind-controlled humans. Free their minds and bring them to me. We can use them as troops. Free their minds? My dear friend Hermes is a master manipulator. And that staff of yours looks like one of his creations. Try using that. There's an outpost southwest from here, nestled in the hand of Hades. Warriors were spotted in its paw. to stay hidden. Persephone no longer controls. Flames of Ichnos are dying. 
I release you from their control. You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me. Anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. And all I had to do was risk my life for you to trust me. No one in Elysium is who they say. So when a clever warrior shows up to help me escape, you'll have to excuse me if I'm skeptical. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby. Was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him. Run with me, my friend. Leonidas! You have the eyes of my daughter. So something did survive that day. How do you have this? Mirini. She's my mother. I'm here because I need your help. I need you to fight. I have found peace here. Why would I fight? All my life, I was told of my grandfather. The king who spat in the face of the gods and ran his spear through anyone who threatened the freedom of his people. Now I'm the one fighting for freedom, and I'm asking my grandfather for help. We'll need to use the terrain to our advantage. So you'll fight with us? Not until you fight me. You say you're Marini's son. I want to see how she trained you. Well, so, 
I could have used you at Thermopylae. You could have used a lot of people at Thermopylae. I am glad this spear is in your hands. I will fight with you. You have my word as a Spartan. Thank you, Grandfather. There he is. How is Leonidas fitting in? Morale's never been higher. Scouts are reporting Persephone's influence is weakening across Elysia. You're definitely causing havoc out there. I won't rest until it's done. You know, I'm starting to think Elysium isn't such a bad place with you in it. Yes, if only you weren't in love with Aphrodite and trying to overthrow the Queen and everyone else wasn't dead. Elysium would be perfect. All I'm saying is you breathe life into this world filled with dead people. Anyhow, we have a bit of a situation. Of course we do. Persephone's guards have cut off supply lines, overtaken hideouts, secrets and locations she couldn't possibly have known without inside help. We suspect there is a spy in our midst. Who? One is a messenger. She was sent with crucial information to one of our camps. When she didn't return, we sent a scout. The entire camp was killed, and she was nowhere to be found. The other is a blacksmith. Soldiers love to gossip while getting their blade sharpened. We think he may have overheard some of our plans. That's a good start. They both have homes in the village. Return to me once you're done. Messenger's house. A broken piece from one of the torches of Hypnos I destroyed. So Persephone knows we've recruited Leonidas. Detailed information about one of Adonis's rebel camps. Definitely the house of a blacksmith. Ah, a list of people Adonis has spent time with. Mine and Persephone's names are on this. A note written to Aphrodite. The blacksmith told her everything. Adonis's escape plans, the rebellion. Who's the dirty spy? The messenger or the blacksmith? Both have been spying on you. Both have information that could undo your rebellion. Lousy malakas. My scouts tell me they're on the move. We only have time to dispose of one before they disappear completely. Which is more dangerous to our cause? The blacksmith had a list of people you've spent time with, and a note to Aphrodite outlining your plans for escape. And what about the messenger? She had detailed information about one of your rebel camps, a note to Persephone about Leonidas joining the fight, and a fragment of one of the mind control devices I destroyed. The messenger needs to be stopped. Last I heard, she was spotted at a small rebel camp. Come <laughs> on. 
going to... The messenger is dead. The camp was ambushed. I did what I could. Any news on the blacksmith? He escaped. If he reports back to Persephone, many lives are in danger. Our next move needs to be swift and deadly. Meet me later at the palace of the Colossi. I've acquired a little something that will turn Persephone's paradise upside down. Keeper, there you are. The Queen is in Defcalion's heritage, and requires your presence. She says it's quite urgent. about my southern realm. I don't come here much anymore. It's... Uh, lovely. I try to offer a comfortable home to the glorious dead. It helps them accept their fate and keeps them from wandering too far. So when a human wanders and doesn't return, I can't help but take it personally. What am I doing here? When Leonidas was alive, he brought chaos and bloodshed. Hermes spotted him mingling with delinquents recently. We can't have him falling into old habits. If he won't fight with me, then he won't fight at all. Leonidas of Sparta is my grandfather. If you think I'm going to stick a blade in him, you're wrong. Hermes told me why you're really in Elysium. That staff of yours. Cross me and you'll fail. But Leonidas means a lot to you. I understand this will be difficult, which is why I'm willing to make you a deal. What kind of deal? Bring me the body of Leonidas, and I will bring back a departed beloved of your choosing. You can do that? I'm queen of the dead, darling. I can do anything. So, who does Alexios want back in his life? To see Phoebe again. Help me protect Elysium from chaos, and you'll see your loved one again. We're friends now. What are you doing out here? There is something I wanted to ask you. 
Will you fish with me? So many things I want to talk about. Talk then. After everything you lost at Thermopylae, your men, your wife, your children, Sparta, in the end, was it worth it? Who rules the Greek world right now? Greeks? Then my answer is yes. Mater told me of our bloodline and our ancestors. Did you know? Only what my mother told me. We were born from greatness, and we were destined for greatness. The world was divided in two. Those who wanted us dead, and those who would follow us to the gates of Hades. I imagine the spear was in one piece when it was given to you. My mother handed it to me when I was a boy. Said it came with a certain burden. But... You were ready. It's so peaceful here. I think I got a bite. Get a basket, quickly. Grandfather, I... You are here to kill me. In Sparta, we were trained to spot predators long before they pounced. I need Persephone's approval, but she sees you as a threat. If I don't take care of that threat... Why not bring her the head of a greater threat? Who's a greater threat than you? Actually, there is someone. A spy. I delivered him to Persephone as a bodyguard. But he's working against her from the inside. I am only a threat to her soldiers on the battlefield. A spy threatens the heart of Elysium. Bring her his corpse, and she should be satisfied. <sighs> Thank you, Grandfather. We should go fishing more often. Watch will be vigilant here.
Come on, come on. Easy. Kiros of Zarax? This isn't who I asked for. He's a spy working for the Rebellion. But you're the one who first brought him to me. I didn't know his intentions. I trusted you. Guards! Persephone, listen to me. Remis is right. Trouble's brewing in Elysium. Even though Leonidas is against you, you're much stronger than he is. But Kyros was an enemy you couldn't see. That made him far more dangerous to you and Elysium. Defying me comes at a cost. Our deal is off. But for bringing me this vile deceiver, you may stay. Figure out that mysterious little staff of yours. Hold up. I never wanted this. I only turned this world into paradise to make it bearable. And then you arrived and made me blossom. Please, just let me go. If you truly wanted to leave, you'd have already done it. Or have you forgotten? I wonder if Aphrodite would still love you if she knew what a coward you were. Not having second thoughts, are you? She's right. I am a coward. She gave me the chance to leave once. All I had to do was fight, and I couldn't. I'm sorry. I can't do this. It's too big. Adonis, I want you to close your eyes and imagine Aphrodite. Don't let Persephone make you forget why you're fighting. You're right. It's Persephone's greatest talent, making us forget the ones we love. Keeps people from wanting to leave. Let's remind them, shall we? 
At the base of the Palace of the Colossi, you'll find one of Hermes' inventions, stolen from his workshop. It's said to destroy everything it touches. What are we destroying? Atop the palace is where Persephone keeps her sleeping Colossi. Bring the device there and make sure they never wake again. The smoke will let every rebel camp in Elysium know the time to strike is now. What are we waiting for? Try not to kill anyone. Success without detection and death is sure to convert more non-believers to our cause. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Persephone's grip! Sleep too long. Wake and be free.
When we first met, I laughed when you said you wanted to escape Elysium. And now? I pity the god who stands in your way. So what will you do? I have some preparations to make before our final assault on Persephone's palace. <laughs> I meant when this is over. I'm going to leave Elysium in the hands of the people. Then I'm going straight to Olibos into the arms of my love. Sounds like paradise. You've been a good friend. I never expected to find one here. Come find me before we launch our attack. The rebellion's almost ready to make it start. I should check back with Ekati in case she's returned. And get some answers. Ella. Persephone? I was looking for Ekati. I can't imagine what you need her for, but... Never mind. Do you know what the hardest part is about my life here? I don't. It's not knowing who to trust. Ekati has been my dearest friend ever since my mother, the Meteor, sent her to me. But after that nonsense with Lethe's water, I've been keeping a closer eye on her. Ekati always tells me where she's going, but not this time. My spies tell me she's about to resurface for a secret meeting at Iphigenia's compound. Sounds like the meeting's not so secret anymore. That's where you come in. Spy on her and report back to me. I'm trusting you with this. Please, don't let me down. Looks like this is my chance to find out what the cut is up to. <laughs> There she is.
I was wondering when you would arrive, locksmith. You know I prefer Keymaker. Your mastery of language is overwhelming as always. How you stay so humble is beyond me. You know why I'm here, Ricardi. We need to talk about your newfound friend, the Keeper. Don't worry. I didn't tell Alexios about the key to the underworld you cleverly disguised as Ross's collar. Why would I want him running straight to Persephone's palace? It's not about that. I know you've been spending a lot of time together, and undermining Persephone in the process. Alexios has been undermining Persephone, not me. At least, that's what Persephone will see when I'm through. I'm all too familiar with your ability to whisper in Persephone's ear, but whatever tale you spin for her isn't the truth, is it? You've been trying to push Persephone out of power! Hermes, you know her quest for control is corrupting her. You must see that Persephone has changed. The only one who wants control is you. Why can't you support her? <laughs> it's true. You are jealous of her. Doing everything Persephone tells you isn't helping her, Ernis. Let alone getting you what you so desperately desire. Could either of us really help her after what she's gone through? But I am no traitor. I need to get to Persephone first, no matter what. So? What did you find out? Hecate has been working behind your back. What folly is this? An outsider accusing me of treason after breaking into your sanctuary. I couldn't have gotten in if Hecate hadn't given me the key. But you did break in? Yes. To steal a journal about the gate to the underworld. You are the only one with the key. Alexios stole it from me. Just like he stole the last of Lethe's water from the cave. But Alexios destroyed it. Don't play games with me, Ekati. I know who was behind Lethe's water circulating in Elysium. The point is, there's been trouble in Elysium ever since you got here. That's no coincidence. You're clearly trying to push Persephone out of power. I may be working against Persephone, but you've been helping me the entire time. There! Out of your own mouth! You're trying to overthrow me! You can't believe these lies! A silver tongue joined the delinquent operating in Decalion's heritage after this outsider helped her! I've heard her myself. She's singing your praises as an ally to humans. What? I... Start being honest, Ekati, and fast. Furthermore, a gathering of your most devoted followers was recently targeted. Yes. All poisoned with aconite, which you have quite the green thumb for. Curiously, the last of my batch was stolen from me right before the party. It wasn't me. Is it a coincidence then, outsider, that someone matching your description was seen fleeing the followers' symposium? Enough! I have reason to suspect the both of you of treason at this point. Egaki is my oldest friend in the underworld, and for a while I thought my truest. Give me one reason why I should believe your word over hers. This is all part of her plan. But your instincts were right, Persephone. Hecate's the traitor. You can't possibly take the words of an outsider over mine. Persephone. Hecate's right. I have to be out of my mind to take your word over hers. Nothing's been paradise since you dropped in. You are no longer welcome in my palace. We've received word those delinquents in Def Helion's heritage are on the move. Not now. This is urgent, my queen. Fine. I'll handle this later. I should have known you would stab me in the back. 
You can't betray someone you never held any loyalty for. Adonis's troops should be strong enough to take that Siphon down. I should let him know. I've had scouts looking everywhere for you. I didn't think to check Persephone's throne room. You should be thanking me. Persephone knows what we're doing. She's prepared. That's so? Then we need to strike, and we need to do it now. Hmm. For Aphrodite. And for your freedom to breach the gate out of this realm. All right, muster your troops. We're going to battle. Don't get in my way! It was you this whole time? You let me worry about these delinquents? All my worry, all this suffering, was because of you! I told you, I'm getting to that gate, whether Persephone likes it or not! Now get out of my way! I will not! And today is the day the gods themselves fall to their knees before me.
Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! Don't let him get away with anything. We're in this together. I'll always be at your service. Even outside of Elysium? If it comes to that? I'll be there. For now, I'll leave you too. I'm sure there's plenty to talk about. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go! You've turned this whole realm against me. But you didn't do it alone. Go. Your friend here won't be as lucky. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Alexios. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people, with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe... You can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself. And this world is mine. Alone. 